We all know the Little League World Series, a baseball tournament famously won by Maine Endwell back in 2016. But what about hockey's version of that? It's called the Brick International Hockey Tournament, and it's held every year in Canada. This year, one of the players from the winning team came from right here in Binghamton. 12 Sports reporter Jacob Seuss has the story. It's amazing bringing home a trophy that nobody will think that anybody from here will have. This uh, it was once in a lifetime experience for Robbie. But before there was this, he does. Stick out there was a tryout. A hundred kids vying for 18 spots with a chance to represent the region at the Brick International Hockey Tournament in Edmonton. I thought it would be a little hard to make it. There's always a shot. He's, he's a very good player, but uh, we're seeing the best of the best in uh, the Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey area, plus uh, imports from as far away as Dallas. So it was a little touch and go. But when he did... Was pretty much bouncing off walls. Robbie was the only kid from upstate New York to make the team, and then came tournament time. The Little League World Series of Hockey. One shot to show the world what you can do, but Robbie knew what he was getting himself into. Very fast, intense, fast pace. And the atmosphere? Well, it resembled one of a playoff game. It's no secret they take their hockey seriously in Canada. It was crazy. Everybody was yelling, and people were hanging over the boards. Stick out the way, and he scores! Robbie's team dominated. The CGR Rangers won their first seven games before knocking off Alberta in overtime of the championship game to become the first America-based team to win the tournament in 17 years. Our whole team was ecstatic. We were going crazy on the ice. To go and watch your son be part of that and be a team player, um, play with these amazing kids, all the talent up there. Uh, for us, it was a dream come true. A dream that might take some time to realize was actually reality. The magnitude of it, I don't think they're going to understand until eventually, he, someday maybe he goes back to Edmonton and sees his name on the cup or sees his name on the wall. After an experience like that, the sky is the limit for Robbie and his future goals. My big goal is to go to the NHL. Which just might not be that crazy. In Binghamton, Jacob Seuss, 12 Sports.